a a screen door. <clears throat> Ready for the PlayStation Direct. This is gonna be a crazy one. A hey, man of boss. What's going on? Is ready for this big Breath of the Wild 2. Yep, I'm thinking Breath of the Wild 2. I'm thinking Mario. I'm thinking we're gonna see uh, Uncharted 5. Ratchet and Crank. Maybe. Maybe a crossover. Ratchet and Crank. Could be. Last of Us 4. That's a good prediction. Could be a Last of Us 4. <clears throat> Alright, is this... I think it's starting soon. I think it's starting pretty soon. There's a PlayStation Direct today. Jack and Daxter and the Golden Crab. Could we could see that? It is possible we could see that. It actually already said what it was. They just said it was Ratchet and Clank and two indie games. Oh, thank you, Rubenko and Sagala. Thank you, TJ, TB. Schizo. Oh, I think it's starting. I think it's starting. You guys ready for this? Is it starting? Oh, no, it's not yet. It's not yet. This one is going to be crazy. I'm thinking Zelda. I'm thinking Zelda. Mario. Knack 3. I'm thinking... Remember the Toy Story game from PlayStation? I'm thinking they're going to do a Toy Story. Well, I, remember, I think it was Toy Story 2 on the PS1. I'm thinking they're going to do a Toy Story 3. In that kind of in the spiritual successor to that. Thank you, Go, Go Andrews. Crash X Spyro. Oh, that could be. Could be. Crash versus Spyro, kind of like Superman versus Batman. That could happen. And they have to fight. Crash versus Capcom. Yeah, huh? Could be. You never know. There's a lot of Crash fans, a lot of fans of the Crash Bandicoot universe. Love you, Donkey. Could see a Crash versus Capcom. Definitely, I'm definitely thinking that Halo is gonna, that's gonna be the big announcement, is Halo is coming to PlayStation. That's definitely confirmed. Definitely getting confirmation of that right now. Holla at your boy. Alright, I think it's starting. Is it starting? Okay, I'm getting the go ahead. Here we go. Spyro. Okay. Uh, Spyro. Croc. Oh shit, Croc. Okay, okay. Starhawk, okay. Okay, Warhawk.
There it is. There it is. That was the best one they did yet. That was the best one they did yet. Hi, Dunky. Sony just reinvented video games. They're doing Starhawk. They're doing Warhawk. They're doing Tom Clancy's Hawks. More like State of Gay. That was insane. All the Xbox fans just saw that and went... They went... They went Thanos. They did the Thanos. They went Thanos. When they saw that shit, when they saw Tony Hawk's... When they saw Hawks come out. Warhawk. And all the Xbox fans went... They're gone. They're gone. That was insane. <clears throat> play it again? Alright, yeah, let's watch it again. Alright, let's watch the PlayStation Direct again. The Xbox fans right now just says, ah, why'd I pick Keep Xbox? Why'd I pick Xbox? There's doing a bonus event also. I don't know what this is. Just here for the dunk coin. I guess they're doing like a bonus thing. Change your one, two, three, toss up me again. Can you hear it, man? Is there a Jawa saying something? Taco time. The robot is talking Jawa talk. Taco time. You got some tacos? <sighs> Alright, I guess they're doing a second. They're doing two of them today. I mean, I'm already sold on PS5 after that one. But I guess we'll see. We'll see what this second one is. Where did E? Oh, fuck this. I'm not playing this. Welcome to an all new state of play. We've got more than 15 minutes of new Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart PS5 gameplay coming right up. But first, let's check in on two other exciting games coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 consoles this year. Made it to 4546B. Landing was <laughs> a bit rough, but I don't Penguin think it's bad. Hi, I'm Jeff, audio producer at Unknown Worlds. Jeff Set is one year on after this? the award-winning original, Subnautica Below Zero plunges players into a frigid underwater adventure in search of answers. Here, the native wildlife above and below the surface might consider you a tasty treat, assuming you don't become an ice pop first. The previous research Our crew has vanished, including your sister. This was Sam's necklace. She never took it off. To this uncover the truth, eyes, you'll need to get crafty, building like tools expansion. and shelter for your survival. But even that may not be enough. That's Jeff Watch? <laughs> Jeff Watch is on this? I told you to stay off my land. With the oh. PS5 DualSense controller, every icy shock feels like it's being sent right into your hands. The haptic feedback system allows you to feel each adrenaline-filled chase and provides visual and audio cues <laughs> as you use resources, encounter key game moments, 
or get into situations where it's probably best to run. By the time you squint to see what's ahead, it may already be too late. Fortunately, when this you play like Below Zero on PS5, players will get a crystal clear experience with up to 4K graphics, targeting 60 FPS when in performance mode. And if you already own a physical or digital version of the first Subnautica on PS4, you'll be able to upgrade to the digital PS5 version at no additional cost. We hope you're as excited as we are to dive into the world of Subnautica Below Zero when it launches on PS5 and PS4 on May 14th. I like the penguin. Oh shit! Oh no way! What? Oh my god! I'm just putting a among us on there? No way. Ratchet and Clank is in Among Us! Holy shit! Oh my god, I'm so glad I tuned into this. Oh my god. Among Us is coming to PS5. We can't wait to dive deep into Subnautica Below Zero and make baseless yeah. accusations against our crewmates in Among Us later this year. Looks that like Ratchet was the and the two gang games? are ready for the spotlight. Next up, Insomniac Games will lead us on a tour of this June's PS5 action adventure. That was the two indie games? I thought it was going to be real games. I thought it was going to be like Hollow Knight. I'm Marcus Smith, creative director of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, a brand new full-length Ratchet & Clank adventure built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5 console. Today we're going to introduce Ratchet you to some of the gameplay, Clank. characters, and arsenal of Rift Apart. Whether you've played every game since Ratchet & Clank's debut, or you're brand new to the series, Rift Apart is a standalone adventure that you won't want to miss. Let's get into it. Oh. Guys, you Clank? won't want to miss this one. Clank? Backs? What is this place? Where I'm are sure you, Clank? Clank? Maybe someone around here has seen him. Have any of you seen a little gray robot anywhere? Uh, green eyes, red antenna, very charming. Ratchet has been separated from his best friend and partner, Clank, and is now in a new dimension and a mysterious this urban sprawl called Nefarious City. Let there be good news behind here. No, don't turn that. Don't turn that with your Ratchet quickly finds out that in this dimension, Dr. Nefarious is a much more capable villain. Welcome to the Nefarious City Bazaar. Please remember to thank our marvelous Emperor before, during, and after making your purchase. Emperor? Does that mean there are two Nefariouses now? Clank first, the various later. Maybe That's the new Clank? Thanks to the new hardware, the worlds and Rift Apart are more beautiful than ever. Cities are full of life with traffic and civilians milling about everywhere. Rift Apart is full of the unexpected. Characters in this new dimension are not always the same as they were in Ratchet and Clank's dimension. Wow, is that the, actually the whole level? Ratchet comes across Miss Zircon, the weapon vendor in Rift Apart. Oh, wait a second. You forgot your order. Well, come right in. <laughs> Miss Zircon will sell you weapons, but you gotta be less conspicuous. 
or the resistance will not last. The resistance? Mm. Oh, apologies, sugar. Ms. Zircon is still new to all of this espionage. Release the hostage. Clank has been taken by a mysterious new Lombax named Rivet. Clank! Clank has been taken by a mysterious new Lombax named I need to go after that ship. How can I get off planet? It's a test. Only royal starships are allowed to leave anything else. No! The Phantom can help. Just follow the bait to Club Nefarious, and you will find him. Club Nefarious, got it. Oh, and nice work, Secret Agent Zircon. Oh, 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 oh. This is so exciting! Club Nefarious shouldn't be hard to miss. Better look around. Mm, this is Cyberpunk. But he's not falling through the floor. Sounds like a club, all right. Why isn't anybody team coaching? Come on, Phantom, where are you? Once Ratchet finds Phantom, he learns a couple of new moves. A big ass level. I can't really tell how big it is. I wonder how big these levels are. They're trying to make them look like they're super big. One of the focal points of gameplay in Rift Apart is increased mobility. Ratchet can now dash and wall run to traverse levels. This focus on mobility allows players to chain moves together to create exhilarating combos. Mm, that was pretty cool. Now let's that jump into combat. Cool. A nefarious day spa. If you can distract these troopers, I'll hack Nefarious's propaganda blimp and give this city a message it'll never forget. Looks easy enough. Dashing allows you to evade attacks or gain strategic advantages. Enemies can't hit what doesn't momentarily exist. Dimensional tears in the world allow you to use the Rift Tether, another new traversal mechanic to instantly pull yourself across battlefields to escape or flank enemies. Weapons in Rift Apart utilize the power of the DualSense wireless controller's adaptive triggers and haptic feedback to allow players to really feel the power of their arsenal. For example, with the Burst Pistol, players can pull back the trigger partway to peck out accurately placed single shots. But pulling the trigger fully unleashes a rapid-fire spread that covers more area. In either case, players will feel each shot burst from the weapon and connect with enemies. The With the Enforcer, players can pull the trigger down halfway to fire a single barrel, reducing crazy. time between reloads. Or pull the trigger fully and unleash both video. barrels with a devastating like close-range attack. Now. Thanks to the haptics, the player will feel the power of their shots through their hands. I think they have like an Astro Playroom that's like a machine gun part. I'm sure the Let's crazy move ahead a little bit. As Ratchet attempts to follow Rivet and Clank, he encounters a nefarious Rivet. juggernaut. Rivet is gonna be like a, it's like an alternate dimension Ratchet. There's gonna be like an alternate 
Ratchet and Crank. Crank is going to be the alternate dimension. During this fight, more dimensional chaos ensues. Thanks to the power of the SSD, we can near instantly teleport players to completely different locations. This isn't some small arena being loaded, but the entire level from a different planet. Let's jump over and this see what's going crazy. on with Rivet and Clank. This game is going to be crazy. As you may have guessed, Rivet is a brand new playable character in the series. Where are you taking me? I was going to take you to my hideout. But first, I got to rescue my friends at their gelatonium factory. Rift Apart includes several alternate dimension versions of classic planets from past games. Oh, look at that Mungus. Mungus Master. Did we mention how stunning and alive our worlds are? Thanks to the power of the PS5 and the 3D audio, we've been able to create alien planets with an immersive density like never before. Let's check it out. Let's talk about how yeah. good the graphics is on this game. Soon as I can get close enough. Back to Ms. Zircon, the weapons vendor. Whoa. This wasn't what was in my account last time. Oh, that is because I added our mutual friend. Oh, they gotta put good work. So that's the classic. Okay. That's the classic. In Rift Apart, you get to play with an explosive game. new arsenal. As well as a few returning classes. That's the best part of Ratchet and Clank is coming up with all the weapons. What are they gonna have? What are those little snail guys? Here's another example of how we're using the dual sense. With the topiary sprinkler, players will feel resistance in the trigger as they prepare a throw of this garden grenade. Once oh, on the ground and spitting out its rapid growth plant fertilizer, players will also feel when enemies have been turned into a plant and are ready to be trimmed down. The sprinkler gun. This is why shooting didn't work. That's why they got to get these good weapons. Sprinkler gun. Halo Infinite is a sprinkler gun. Now that I've seen this, Halo Infinite is going to catch up. Shot him with a sprinkler gun. In addition to rift tethering and dimensional shifts, there are also many pocket dimensions scattered oh, throughout the game. Don't go in the pocket dimension. And last speedo runs into that rift thingy. Interesting. You must have a rift tether in your glove too. Ah! All right, smarty bot. What is this place? I um, a dimensional pocket. Perhaps a symptom of the Dimensionator's destruction. How did you come up with this stuff? Classic. Classic purple dimension. Hey, it's Maynard, the Mortz's helper bot. Must oh, have worn his wrist somehow. There is the Speedle. Maynard is in this? No, no, don't hide. Ah. Hitting its nest might get its attention. Well, hello hmm? there. Oh dear. Maybe Maynard can lead me to the horse. You can ride Maynard? I can't believe they finally allowed you to ride Maynard. Ever since I saw cars, I thought no way would they ever have the technology where you can ride on Maynard. Get away from this acid. Come on, Maynard. Let's find the morts. Riding speedles is one way of traversing Sargasso's acid swamps. And to do so quickly. Oh, that's a speedle. Excuse me. That's actually a speedle. Look out. Maynard is the robot. So, the, yeah, and they still, the technology still isn't there to actually ride on Maynard. 
But maybe a PS6, you'll see Maynard uh, ride gameplay. There's the gelatonium factory. Coming, Mortz. We didn't follow that Lombax and his robopet across dimensions just to get stopped by some fuzzballs. So you got like nine and a half seconds to tell us where they're at. One. <laughs> Hang on there now. <laughs> if you watch our previous gameplay <laughs> demo, damn you will recognize thing. the goons for less. The this goon. rebranded gang has been hired by Dr. Nefarious oh, to that's attack not a Ratchet and the evil guys are now goons. also trapped in Rivet's dimension. What's that little Here's another new weapon. Beaver. The Shatter Bomb is a frag-type grenade that deals a lot of damage to your foes. With haptic feedback, each explosion feels incredibly impactful. That's just a grenade. Stop trying to make a grenade sound cool. Where are these doofuses coming from? Perhaps they were sucked through the dimensional vortex as well. Are you guys feeling the vibration? They should have sent out like little vibration, little vibration pads for you to experience it. Oh, that's that gun. This is just a small taste of some of the early gameplay in Rift Apart, but there is so much more. We have open areas to explore. Dimensional clank puzzles. Glitch challenges. Glitch challenges? No way. Arena no way. challenges. Aerial combat. Mm. Gold bolts to collect. Pocket dimensions to explore. Armor to obtain and use in the first ever Ratchet and Clank photo mode. Photo mode! Photo mode! And giving more people access to playing our games is always important to us. As such, Rift Apart will offer a slew of accessibility options. We'll reveal more about this soon. Experience Rift Apart's new planets, weapons, intense high action combat, and near instant load times, all with some of the best visuals we've ever created. On behalf of all of us at Insomniac Games, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the Omniverse on June 11th. That's our show. We explored the depths of an alien ocean, got a first look at Among Us on PlayStation, and zipped across space and time in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Fucking Among Us. That's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Well. Oh, that's this. Ratchet and Clank. Oh, this what is the old gameplay. Surprise. What do you want, Nefarious? We're going to a dimension where I always win. <laughs> yeah, Ratchet and Clank. It looks really cool. I like the PS4 one. The PS4 one was really fun. That would be a good game. All right, now let's play the real. That was a good. That was a good fake out direct. Now let's play the real direct though. Here we go. Spyro. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. PlayStation is the best season. There it is. There he is. There he is.
it is. That's why you always bet on PlayStation. That's why you always bet on PlayStation. Xbox fans, that is traded into Xbox right there. That is traded it in. Before that video even ended. Alright. I'm gonna beat Resident Evil now. I think I'm pretty close to beating it. Going back to Resident Evil. What did you guys think about Ratchet and Clank? I mean, nobody has PS5 yet. <laughs> I think only seven people have Jake PS5 Paul wants so to far. Know why you took down his poster and also did not attend to his pay-per-view event? I attended the Jake Paul pay-per-view event. I was there. Blame Odunko, give me a goddamn BLT for this Ratchet and Clank dub. Ratchet and Clank looks okay. Looks okay? What the hell? What the hell? That game looks awesome. That game looks awesome. This is bullshit. Did you guys not play the last one? Knack three baby. That game was great. That's like one of one of two triple A three D platformers that came out. Alright, actually, you guys just missed a big uh a big cutscene. <laughs> when I turned the stream off, there was a really big cutscene that happened. Uh, let me try to find it on YouTube. You guys kind of missed out on like the big huge twist. Alright, alright, I think I found it. Oh, wait a minute. I can find it. I can find it. All right, here it is. Here it is. Uh, how do I get this up? This is the big thing that you guys missed out on. Lives are at stake. Sherry, mommy loves you, sweetie. Goodbye. Are you fucking? 
fucking kidding me. Sherry, don't worry. I will get you whatever you need, okay? Oh, why are you doing this? Because I care. Thank you, Claire. Piece of shit ass, man. All right, now back to the game. Now, basically, what I did was I loaded the little kid into the car and then ran and then kind of left her there. Because I need health. Alright, I don't got no health. Now where is the... Where's the train? No, it's not a hot car. The child is not sitting alone in a hot car. It's like a, uh, it's like, kind of more like a train. A hot train. Oh shit, where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Yeah, see, she's fine. She's alright. Her eye is kind of looking fucked up. She'll be alright. This tram is bound for Nest. Do not exit until the final destination. No, Box Fox is not in this. You're thinking of a different game. I think that was Ratchet and Clank. Uh-oh, she's turning into a monster. Are you okay? Give her doggy food. Jacket's so warm. The brother gave it to me. You know it's supposed to be lucky. Finish I don't her. know what I'd do without you. Are you kidding me? You were doing just fine without me until I came along and got you all sorts of trouble. No, she was in the sewer. I have something of yours. I don't want it. Really? Why not? It's so pretty. It's from my mom. For my birthday last year. Uh, all I really wanted was for her to be home more. I know it seems like your mom doesn't care, but... Uh, hey, uh, Sherry, come uh, here. Uh, uh, this is the saddest uh, Resident Evil ever. Hey, hang in there, okay? Now, arriving at... This uh, isn't funny, like, hungry and eat doggy food. Got you. Come on. <sighs> the little kid's gonna turn into the monstro. I'm getting you treatment. Just hold on, Sherry. It's okay. All right. Let's go into the lab. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. This is the second to first one. You start off in like this old ass mansion, and then you end up in like this fucking <laughs> this underground lab. They're always been having an underground lab in Resident Evil. <laughs> Sprayer with water. Huh. There's gotta be something here. 
Antiviral agent. That's it. That's gotta be it. <laughs> hmm. What? Hey. Hey, Sherry. Email. Go. How to fix right zombie here, though, A. Okay? I'll be back soon. I promise. <laughs> the email was just opened up to the exact right thing. Oh, what the fuck is this? I don't want that in my inventory. I don't want this dumbass wristband in here. Yep. If you're ever having issues, just look at whatever's on the screen of your computer. And that, and the pretty the solution is pretty much there already. Somebody's eating pizza. Somebody was here recently, eating a pizza. How the fuck did they get a pizza down here in the lab? Do you think the pizza man went down like... The pizza man went past all the zombies? And went into the mansion, and then went into the underground tunnel. And then he went and solved like 20 puzzles. And then he brought the pizza to like that big huge lab door. <laughs> Do you have to tip more for that? Do you he didn't know even the get a tip. Man. Due to an incident in the north area, all nest personnel are to immediately use the devil antiviral agent on themselves. Devil is the only way to prevent G mutation. <laughs> it really was opened right to the perfect email. Oh, that's where Burger Man was going. But then why was he eating the burger? I'm not going in there yet. I need a... Just eat that plant. Eat that plant. I need health. Why can't I eat this for health? You should be able to eat any plant for health. That's how it works in real life. Eat the pizza? No. Pizza's no good for you. Point. Guests must refrain from entering. Zombie. Zombie. Thank you, Omer Sick. I'm hearing a zombie noise. What is he eating? The chair? That was the pizza guy? No way. No way. I think that's the pizza guy. What the hell is up with you? <laughs> what the hell is what the hell is wrong with these guys? Why are you eating people? Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, alright. 
I need to trick, I need to corral all these zombies together. Get them with a corral little shot. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come over here. I'm going for the corral little shot. His hand is on fire. Shit. Now there's two more. <laughs> Fuck. How do you <laughs> there's so many of them. I thought that guy was dead already. What the fuck? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Carrello shot. Burn. <laughs> fuck. How are you still alive? You're on fire. Oh, shit. Go, go, go! Jesus. <laughs> what the hell is up with you? Die! Okay. Okay. I won. Oh my god. Okay, I win. Needle cartridges? What's that? Needle cartridge. I still need health. for the nail gun it's for tattoos <laughs> just to give the zombies different tattoos oh what kind of sodas do they get oh the seven up I think that's Mountain Dew uh, I'm just seeing Mountain Dew I'm not seeing these other ones just I think these are off brand. That might be seven up. It's either seven up or Mountain Dew. I'm thinking this it's kinda look more like Mountain Dew. Oh, we got some kind of what is this? Oh we got flour. Oh that's a zombie. Okay. He doesn't know though. So I'm just gonna leave that guy there. This should come in handy. Why did a horrible sound just play? He doesn't know? What don't I know? What don't I know? What's gonna happen? What do I need for this? Put a grenade in there. Pull the pin. Muff. All right, I need the muff card for that. Oh, shit. I'm getting rid of this guy.
Am I back in the restaurant? This is the restaurant again. That nap room. All right, I'm heading back. This zone is much easier to navigate than the sewer so far. I think the sewer was the most fucked up part of this game. You know what sucks about playing on this route though? You don't fight the alligator. You're missing a good alligator fight. It's not as playful as the sewers. I think you do go in the sewers also as the, uh, the playful sewer. Alright. Uh, dang. Guess I'll put this away for now. I don't think I'm gonna need this thing. Thinking I'm gonna do this though. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this. Boom. Oh, look at that. Look at how much ammo I just got. Alright, that should be good. Target moving to West Area. Must be going to retrieve the G-Virus. This is Ghost, understood. Rendezvous at point W3. Shh, roger. Shh, this is Alpha. Arrived at destination. Shh, understood. Stand by for target. Shh, this is Alpha. I've got eyes on the target. He's going to open the safe. Shh, roger. I'm waiting signal. Shh, got eyes on the G-Virus. Shh, we're going in. Shh, Dr. Birkin, you'll come along with us quietly. Antiviral agents in the West area. Dang. The zombie is so strong that it even defeated that guy. Look at this big ass lab. Holy shit. How did they build this? Will you play Resident Evil 4? Look at how big it is. Isn't this supposed to be like in the 80s or something? Will I play Resident Evil 4? Well, I did want to beat all of them, but now tomorrow two games are coming out. So basically what I'm going to have to do is beat the two new games. Pokemon and Return will come out tomorrow, so I'll beat those. Then, somehow before Resident Evil 8 comes out, I have to beat Resident Evil 3 through 7. <laughs> and then I'll be ca all caught up. Skip five and six? No, you can't skip five and six. That's a fool's move. Number five is where he punches the boulder. You can't skip that one. Hey, here we go. I haven't played five since it came out. I think I beat that whole game co-op with my friend in like one night. I think we just beat the entire thing in one shot. Resident Evil 6 has co-op? I didn't even know that one had co-op. Oh, look at 
Look at this guy. That's the glowing oh, God. man. That's terrible. They went so crazy on the graphics on this game. You think he's alright? Yeah, he's probably alright. Oh, this, okay. Senior staff clearance required for computer access. What the heck? Why isn't there just the perfect email on here? About how to defeat the final boss. Why isn't there an email that says shoot the boss in the foot to win? Oh, that's a master. That's a master. I'm hearing a horrible, a horrible, horrible monster. Okay. Is this working at all? I can't tell if this is doing anything. Okay, okay. Oh. He's got these little things on. Ha! Ha! <laughs> He's still dancing. I can't tell if I won or not. He's still dancing. I think I won. I think I won. Get the flamethrower? Yeah, that would be nice. I need a flamethrower. <laughs> He's waving. He was waving. Dispensing solution now. I don't water the plants. It's evil plants. Plants is evil in Resident Evil. Oh, here, download the map. Make Metroid. Pretty sure that was right. That's not right. That doesn't make sense, I think. Okay, this should be right. Do I have to... Do I have to fill this up? <laughs> like the first game? Do I have to fill it up and not get hit again? Is it gonna give me the Death Stranding mission again? Somehow I beat the last uh, Death Stranding part in the first one on the first try. I am gonna get fucking killed by a plant. No, 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 no. Hold still, hold still. Let me reload. Got him. Wow, these guys are tricky. Gotta hit the little spore part. Hold still, oh fuck, he's moving all around. Hold still, hold still. Damn it. I should have saved my machine gun for this part. I think that's it. Right? Hey, there's the code! Okay, somebody write that down. Somebody write that down. Thank you, Anna Rock. 
Did you guys write that down? It's like F F2 F2 Double L F2 floating LF F2 floating LF Oh! Oh no! Fuck this, I'm going. Alright, I think I remember. It's F2. Boom, right? Got it. Guys are typing it out in the thing. <laughs> How are you guys typing it out? <laughs> Alright, hold still, zombie. Oh, very, very still. Don't want to waste any bullets. Got him. Herbicide synthesis. Plant 43, herbicide synthesis. Isn't that the name of the plant from the first game? Am I gonna have to fight a plant again? I don't think you fight a plant in this one. I'm trying to connect this game to the first game. Really the only thing I see connecting the game is that you gotta find Chris from the first game. And I guess the mansion is in Raccoon City. And it's like the and zombies just left the mansion and infected the whole city I guess. You fight five plants in this one? No way. No way. This game has no crank action? That's not true. That's not true. There was a crank. I just haven't gotten it yet. Place an empty cartridge into the solution dispenser. Add the required amount. Cool immediately. Plant 43 exhibits astounding growth. If something unfortunate were to occur, it may be hard to control. In the event of an unforeseen incident, manufacture the herbicide using the instructions above in order to minimize damage. Oh, what the fuck is this? Ugh. What happened to this guy? <laughs> How did he get so big? That's a big guy. Alright, I think I put it in this machine. Right? No? I have so many acid rounds. I hope the acid rounds are good. I have like 30 of them. All right, I gotta do, I gotta activate this somehow. <laughs> RE2 is happening on the same day as RE1? What? Playing out side by side. Not true, no. I think Resident Evil 3 and this one overlap. I think I know that much.
definitely what I'm seeing is that you can just play any Resident Evil. I don't think you, I think you can just hop in anywhere. It's kind of like Final Fantasy. Although I haven't played six. I heard that one tries to tie in like a million different things. I've never played that one. I got a trophy. All right. Hey, I got a trophy. Oh, this thing is on there. Write that down. Write that down. Look at this guy. Xbox fan. This is an Xbox fan after the PlayStation Direct came out. The Warhawk one. All right, so I need to use the trophy on here. have been like that since Starhawk came out. <laughs> That's true. Ever since Starhawk came out, they had to shut down Xbox. Starhawk was such a huge hit. <laughs> oh! Oh! Up up ah, you fucker! Oh shit, there's two of them! Fuck! Oh, what the fuck is all these zombies? Shit. Hell is up with you. What the heck is? is with you guys stop trying to eat me god why are you guys such jerks god this should let you be napoleon dynamite for this Louise with you guys. That's right. Asshole. <laughs> Get out of here. That guy probably didn't need to engage that guy. Probably. Oh, oh. Oh, fuck this. Fuck this. I'm leaving. Sometimes you can just, you know, run past them, but sometimes it punishes you for running past them. Sometimes, like, you'll come back to a room and you're getting chased and you'll, like, you'll regret leaving a bunch of zombies in there. The signal modulator. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> How did he get up here so fast? You bastard. You bastard. Thank you, Susan. Disappointed there were no raccoons in this game. That's a fair criticism. I 
think there actually is one raccoon in this game, though. In the taxidermy room. I think I saw one. So there are some. Dang. I don't know what to keep, what to get rid of. I think I can put the flashbang. I got a lot of stuff in my inventory right now. You don't need the trophy. If I could actually memorize this, I wouldn't need the trophy. But I'm definitely going to forget, so I do need the trophy. Eh. Maybe I'll put this away for now. One raccoon isn't enough. I mean, they, they did a decent job. What are these little bugs? They're flying through the little vent. This is like, uh, this is like Metal Gear Solid 2. I'm in Big Shell right now. Was there one of those little, what you call them over there? Solution Sprinkler System. Shoot the pigeons in Resident Evil 2 or Metal Gear 2? Definitely. I definitely did that. Do you guys like this music? to the circuit breaker. Dang, man, I got no health in this game. I'm always running out of health. It's because I keep trying to run past the zombies without shooting. I got like a shit ton of ammo. I should just be shooting every zombie I see, really. All right, muff. Boom. Error. So I gotta get like the, I gotta get the lines aligned or something. That's pretty close. Boom. There we go. Boom. Oh, uh oh.
Hey, the hip pouch. I love the hip pouch. Wayne's, Wayne's note. Dear God, blood everywhere. What the hell's happening? They're all dead. All dead. It was those men in black. Will Smith? But why? Isn't their job to protect us? White brains and a sea of red. This can't be happening. Dear God, why? Didn't everybody say I was a genius? A genius like me can't die in a place like this. I always got results. They're screwing me. Well, maybe I'll screw them too. I'll win the Nobel. I'm a hero, a genius, a god. I will not die. I will. Classic. Classic scientist. That's what he always says. Will Smith. Will Smith snuffed out all the scientists in here. Umbrella like does this regularly. They do this like they set up a place, the scientists discover something, and then they shoot all the scientists there. I guess nobody finds out because they shot they literally shoot all the scientists. I guess that's how they keep getting away with it. There's nobody to there's nobody to tell. Tell what's happening. Uh, what do I need? What do I need here? I don't need none of this. I guess I'm going back over here. Here. I think Wesker's outside. You see a man that looks a lot like Wesker. Whoa, whoa, whoa! High grade gunpowder. Whoa, 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 whoa! Watch this, watch this. Oh. Now if that guy gets up, I'm gonna be pissed. Somebody's no. Everybody's turned vegified. They keep coming back again and again. Burn them all. Burn them until their whole body is black as ash. There's no other way. Hey, why isn't this? This is not even activated. Was that where I ripped this thing out of? There's an upstairs. Oh, there's an upstairs. Why would they be scared of vegan zombies? Exactly. They don't eat meat. So it doesn't make sense to be scared of that. Plot hole. That's a cinema sin. Cinema sin number one. Why are they scared of vegan zombie? This guy. Oh, 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 uh oh. Two of them. Plant is no chance versus the fire. There's no chance versus the Sick Pokemon. Son of a bitch. They're dead. Right? And one?
Do I gotta put in the... You know what? I'm thinking I gotta put in the trophy code. Wasn't there a computer over here? I gotta put the trophy code in on the computer. Turn off voices, she's mean. <laughs> she's being too mean to the zombies. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys, that she's being so mean to the zombies. Alright. Floating L, I. Little, little box and the big guy in the sky. And a big old chonko. So it was like this. It was like little guy, big guy in the sky, big chonko. Boom. Now I need my freaking, uh, I need my... I need my little container. if I do this? What if I combine this with this? Is this acid rounds? Is this gonna be acid rounds again? Wait, this thing is called acid rounds. Oh, it tells you. Oh, it tells you what it's gonna come make. I see. How many acid rounds do I have? <laughs> I have 14. All right, I'm gonna try to make something that isn't acid rounds. I think I'm set on acid rounds. Rid of the trophy? Oh, that's a good idea. I mean, you don't really gotta be a fucker and just get rid of everything in this game. They're pretty lenient with the items in this one. Not like the old Resident Evil. No, they don't give you a lot of health. The fuck was that? What was that? What was that? I heard a zombie. Zombie, I hear you. Where are you? Oh shit, I forgot the thing. <laughs> I have to go back again. Oh, there's a zombie. You know what? It's time for the acid rounds. Oh, that took him out. I forgot something else. I'm just kidding. Another zombie? I gotta get out of this room. I gotta get out of here. This is gonna keep dropping in more zombies. More zombies!
Hold still, hold still. Let me reload first. Solution to match cartridge capacity. In a few seconds, Dunky will say thank you, boot. Thank you, boot. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. Okay. Right, I'm thinking. Yep. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, okay. 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 
Okay. Alright. Okay, basically... Basically, I'm thinking... Alright, alright. I'm thinking... Oh, okay, I see what they're doing. I see what they're doing. Basically, what you're going to want to do is do one of these. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Okay, and then basically... Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay, okay. So basically, okay. Basically, I'm thinking... Put this over here. You see what I'm saying? And basically... Nah, that ain't gonna work. Alright, I'm thinking this. There we go. That should be it. Okay, that's not working. thinking basically what I'm thinking you know basically what I'm thinking here is pretty much that we're pretty much gonna have to do you know this is just basic science here I'm thinking that right and basically what I'm saying is that Clearly, once you have this, see what I'm saying? And now, basically, boom. And now, pretty much, what you're gonna want to do here, and this is just basic stuff, boom. Okay, now basically what I need to do here, do this, and I'm thinking now once I got this like this, that's why I go like this, and then once you do this, okay, now, now, now we're back to square one. Yeah, I don't think they play tested this. I don't think I don't think you can beat this actually. I think this is oh I think the game ends here. I don't think they play tested this. No, you're stupid? No. No, I'm definitely not stupid. I'm a genius. Uh game's definitely broken. Yeah, it's a broken game. What can I say? I'll try to do it. I'll try to do it. I think the game is broken, but I might be able to trick the game. Leah's giving me a pep talk. I might be able to trick the game. It's like one of those puzzles where you have to trick the game into working. Because they definitely didn't play test this part. Definitely isn't possible within the within the rules of the game. It's not possible. But I might be able to do an exploit here. Oh, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Combine this. Combine this, right? Combine this. 
Yes. I'm seeing people say yes. I'm seeing people say yes. Most are saying no, but some are saying yes. And I'm thinking that there's some people that are typing yes. I'm thinking those people are right. <laughs> I'm thinking the yes men are right. You know what? I have an I have an idea. I have an idea. I have a crazy idea. What if I do this? See, that almost worked. That almost worked. Alright, I think we're back to square one now, though. Okay, okay. Oh, I see what they want you to do. Oh, I get it now. If I win this, Leah is going to let me add new emotes to my channel. Nice. A live update. And there's a pogger. Pog update. There's a pogger update if I can get past this. I don't think we're going to get the emotes, though. This was never play tested. And this was known. This was in the In the original PlayStation... This puzzle was known to not work. It was a known it was a known bug. And Steven today it still doesn't work. Alright, alright. Basically basically you know basically what I'm thinking. And people are going to be pissed when I say this. I'm thinking you got to do this. I'm thinking this. Nope. Didn't work. <sighs> alright, alright. Everybody calm down. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. It's bugged. It's bugged. Calm down. All right, I'm thinking, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking combine these two. That's what I've never done. Ask Madden? That is a good idea, actually. I should ask Madden. One second. All right, Madden, what should I do? Thank you for selecting Ask Madden. To get past this part, try to mix the containers to make the appropriate amount of liquid. Thank you so much, Madden. See, what I had was not actually even trying to do that. You know, this little, this little juice? That little juice, that's the key to all this. And that's what Madden said. That little juice, that's the key to all this. Right? Boom. And basically, and pretty much basically and what I'm thinking what I'm thinking is that you gotta do this and pretty much what I'm thinking and keep in mind this is all bugged boom there it is and it's as easy as that thank you Madden yep 
I used Ask Madden. All right, we unlocked the new emotes. All right. That was a very easy puzzle. It was bugged, but I, I solved it. Is it gonna take a long time to add them? All right. Leah's in control, you guys. See you guys. He could do it. I told you guys he could do it. Wait, how'd you get out of the game? I need to click on the... Alt. Oh, I'm doing alt escape. Oh, okay guys. The new emotes are being unlocked. New emotes unlocking now. I'm, I'm adding them in. You're not gonna wanna miss this. In just one minute. No, it's instant. I'm gonna add the the poggers first. I am adding the poggers. <laughs> It's going in. It's going in. Upload. It's in. Yeah. If you refresh, it's in. The Poggers is in. And there are five others I'm adding quick. Pogger is online. If you refresh, I see it. I see it in the chat. <laughs> Nice. Alright, might make another one. The second new emote is in. What do you guys think? It's a uh, made by a really cool artist. The same artist that made Jason's YouTube uh, banner. Two have been added. Sorry, it's just going to take me one minute. I'm going to add them all for him. What should this one be called? He has like glowing red eyes. I guess I'm going to call it Rage. <laughs> we could change the names later if we want, but I've added the one with glowing red eyes. Looks pretty scary. Now I'm adding Dunky a very pog. menacing one. Donkey Pog. Yep. Do you guys see the glowing red eyes one? Let's see, what should this one be called? This one, he looks like evil. He's making like a little evil smirk. Smirk? Maybe I just call it Smirk. There we go. Okay, we got the Smirk. Then there's two more and they're super cute. Oh my god, these ones are so cute. He's never he's never had anything this cute before. Wait till you see this. Two adorable ones. Upload. Do you guys like the new emotes? What do you guys think? Yes? Whoa! Ch oh my... I thought it said 10. Oh my god, Chipotle. 100 gift subs? Chipotle? Jason's not even here! He went downstairs! Chipotle, oh my god. Thank you so, so much for gifting Jason a hundred, a hundred bones. Holy crap. 
Chipotle. I'll tell Jason when he comes back, don't worry. <laughs> oh, he's coming. Okay, all the new emotes are in. Babe, Chipotle just gifted you a hundred subs. What? Yeah. Here's Jason. All the new emotes are in. Bye. Thank you so much, Chipotle. Oh my goodness. Now we got all the subs unlocked. I beat the glitched part. Thank you, Chipotle, for all the bones. You guys liking the new emotes? Thank you, Master Shokin and Potatoes. <laughs> Alright, let's beat this game. I beat the glitched puzzle. Now, basically, what I gotta do is load... I gotta go load that into the sprinkler system. Error. Solution temperature is outside acceptable range. What? Temperature is outside of acceptable range? This is bullshit. Fuck you. How do you get the temperature inside the acceptable range? How do you get the temperature inside the acceptable range? I'm gonna get the temperature inside of the acceptable range. I don't know where to get the temperature inside the acceptable range. Oh, I gotta go downstairs. Freeze the medicine. Good idea. Good thinking. Make it like a popsicle. Everybody loves popsicles. You guys, I got Spider Man popsicles. So if you see the Spider Man popsicles, that's a bad. Oh! Oh! saying spider-man popsicles pop yeah popsicle that's a bad Shows. Don't write what I said. Forget that. Everybody forget that I said did that. Delete that. Delete that info. <laughs> and delete how long it took me to beat that thing. What happens in the Resident Evil stays in Resident Evil. Look it up, look up Spider-Man popsicles. It's probably not gonna come up. But they're good. The server room, of course. Of course. This is where you chill the thing. Right? this. Oh, I need this. Advil. Now, what happens if you combine 
this. This and this. Submachine gun ammo. Oh. Oh. Okay. Thinking I don't need that. You need the dog whistle for this next part? You don't need the dog whistle. Thank you, Koa. The dog whistle is from a different game and that's over now. I no longer need the dog whistle. I do, however, need the crank. I still need the crank. That zombie is alive. That zombie is alive. Let's do a bet. Let's do a bet. Zombie alive? Zombie alive? Yeah? Or no? You be the judge. Zombie dead? Or still going? What do you guys think? Everybody is saying the zombie is alive? Really? You guys think it's alive? Everybody said it's alive. Welcome back, Dr. Lee. You have five new messages. Okay, it's dead. You guys were all wrong. <laughs> you guys were all wrong. <laughs> it's dead. Hello? Here. Hello? Give me. Oh, fuck! Oh! Ah! How did he come back to life from that? Bear! 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 Well, he's dead now. Zombie is dead. Bet solved. <laughs> Rick Mendoza. Oh my god, Rick Mendoza is in on this? Can you believe that bastard Cartwright? Cool your jets, asshole. Well, I guess he is the boss, for now. Anyway, have you seen my helix anywhere? I put the secret on the bottom. Brian Cartwright. Busy guy, huh? So you couldn't make our little meeting? Fine. Don't worry about the greenhouse inspection. Instead, I'll give you something real simple to do. Put together the budget estimate for the year after next, and get it done tonight. We're under attack. People are dead. The east area is cut off. We can't operate the bridge with the wrist brands we have here. Where's that bastard hiding? Plant 43 is going wild. The greenhouse is hell. <laughs> the greenhouse is hell. We need to send someone in there before it's too late. Wayne, how do we stop this thing? Do you remember Susie, the cheerleader? What a great gal. We were both into her. Of course, she wasn't into nerds. I still have to give you back those comics and games I borrowed, but you might have to wait a while. The fuck is that? Huh? Where did that come from? <laughs> He's still going! What the hell is up with you? Get out of here, you bastard man! Go get your comics! Go get your popsicle. Give me this knife back. You don't get my knife. Mm. <laughs> 
Somebody voted 32k on dead and lost and left. Oh. <laughs> That's too much Damn. to bet. She Never bet 32,000. Never bet 32,000. That's too much. It was probably uh, Adam Sandler. He's a big gambler. Cooling sequence in progress. Sandler the gambler. Yeah. Thank you, JP Malloy. Now we got the special. Cooling the blue, complete. The blue raspberry flavor. I would love to see them do the first game with this, with this graphics. I don't know if this gameplay would fly though for the first game. I think they would have to make you shittier to make it more true to the original game. I think they'd have to make you weaker. They're pretty powerful in this game. Compared to the first Resident Evil. I never played the original version of this though. How powerful? Are you more powerful or less powerful in the second game? For the original version. You know what I'm saying? More or less same. Okay. That, well, that solves it. Slightly more powerful. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh no. No, no, no. No, no, no. I still don't have any healing items. Check this, you zombies. This will kill them all. Dispensing solution now. Boom. Spray the zombies with that stuff. Think that killed the plant so monsters? Wait, what did she just say? She just. Did you guys hear what she said? One second. Did you hear what she said? She said... So much for the weed infant station. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yep, yep. Thank you. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Your actions have been locked and you may be subject to disciplinary measures. Boom. Got the electronic chip. How are you alive? I sprayed you with the juice. Bam! Bam! Eat your grenade, dinner. Get me out of this. Get me out of this fucker room. Get me out of this fucking place. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Don't, don't do that. Don't eat my head. I can live, I can live. Okay, that kills. How far back did that send me? Uh, 
Okay, I didn't dispense the thing yet. Well, now we can hear the good joke again. Dispensing solution now. Thank you, Candy Man. So much for the weed infestation. I got this. I got this this time. So much for the weed monster. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how it's done. <clears throat> I'm using this out. All right, now combine this. Come over here. Bring this stuff out. And I'm definitely going to need some more acid rounds, I'm thinking. If you know me, you know how I like to get more acid rounds. And let's actually go grab a couple more acid rounds. Going to need 10. And we're actually going to bring out some flame rounds. Boom. And I think I can put this thing away. I don't think I need this anymore. Wait, what, huh? Where did I just go? I'm still over here. I gotta go back to the to the little kid now. Will I keep all the acid to myself? Yeah. That's for me. Thank you, zombie. Now does this do the thing? Now this is a this thing. This? This? Do this? Do that. Uh... Oh, I guess I don't need to go back there. Alright. I gotta find that antiviral agent soon. played Warhammer Tabletop? I think I did play it for two seconds. I think the guy at the store was trying to... He was kind of like doing a tutorial. I didn't actually do anything. I think he just made all the decisions. Got no pistol ammo. No pistol ammo at all. I 
I could make some SMG ammo, run around with the SMG. Oh, I need this thing. All right, I still need this thing apparently. OSS. Boom. William Birkin. Sender, Jane Doyle. Suspending research on G. Umbrella Corporation has decided to cease all research on G, which was ongoing at the Nest Underground that Laboratory. Was some all funding for this project has been cut, and Laboratory Director William Birkin has been removed from his post. Thank you for your email, Dr. Birkin. Top Brass has expressed an interest in this evolving bioweapon you mentioned. Do not worry about cost. Our company is the most well-funded in the whole of the United States. I heard the good news. G is almost ready. Strange you never thought to report it to the research lab here at Umbrella HQ. But I suppose I can let that slide. Anyway, send over the data, would you? And don't worry, you've done good work on G. But we can take care of the rest. Uh oh, you are under suspicion of breaching your contract with Umbrella Corporation. It has become clear that you have claimed ownership of the G Project and have been in unauthorized contact with the U.S. military. Please respond to the investigation committee summons within 24 hours. Uh oh. Uh oh. Thank you, Tyler. Hello, Mr. Dank's first time human, long time internet person here. Question Would you ever consider unlocking some brand new emotes in my honor? I've loyally watched since at least Wednesday. Sincerely, Earth Breezy M. Congrats on exploiting the past that Hulk Juice puzzle. I had to use Game Shark on both my runs. Thank you, Robot. Oh, I'm taking a shower? Well, we just did unlock some emotes. And that act like, that was in your honor. It was in your honor that we did that. Dang. What if you had this in your house? What if when you left your house you just said this? I gotta get this set up in my house. When I walk out the front door it just does this. Boom, dry. Guys. Boom. That's so much faster. That's so much faster. Except your clothes are all on. Well, I guess you don't gotta do laundry anymore either. It's kind of a two in one. Thank you, giant sandwich. Ugh! Why are they making eyeballs? Why are they making arms? What is that, a heart? This is one fucked up place. Research diary. After the G embryo was implanted in the subject, we made a 50 cm incision from the chest to the abdomen and began our observations. With the help of the medical team, the subject's consciousness level was kept between 50 lucid GS GCS 10. Oh, no, that's, that's way too low, GCS. That'll never work. However, the subject's consciousness level deteriorated, see? and further observation was deemed unnecessary. The subject was then disposed of. Breeding rate observation. The G-virus was administered to subject 501. 501 mutated into G-form and was introduced to a group of 30 test subjects. After two hours and 36 minutes, it was observed that all but one of the test subjects had been implanted with an embryo. All subjects were disposed of. One subject broke down during experimentation and took their own life. We administered the G-Rash to subject 628, who had shown slight resistance to the T-Virus. 
The virus was then introduced to subject 639, who they had a close relationship. 628 showed signs of resistance, but had been implanted with an embryo after 24 minutes. T-virus resistance does nothing to stop the mental t t deterioration caused by the G-virus. So now they got, now they got a T-virus and a G-virus. So the T-virus, that makes you zombie, right? Or does that turn you into the tyrant monster? There's a T-virus and a G-virus. And the G-virus turns you into the giga monster. But the T-virus turns you into the tyrant monster? Thank you, Content Caribou, for all the bones. How many, so how many viruses so far? So the first game, T-virus. Now we're up to G-virus in the second game. Each game adds a new virus at this rate. So we got T and G. Huh? Oh, damn it. Oh, yep, yep. I'm gonna need the, yep. Oh, look at that. All right. Oh, I already have that. Hell yeah. Got it. Get both of them. Get that extra one. Thank God. Oh, Need there's just one. Gotta get back to Sherry. <laughs> the E virus is in seven. <laughs> they just keep coming up with a new one. Have you stole Bart yet? Boom. I have so many acid rounds. No, I haven't stolen Bart. You don't steal Bart in any game. You don't steal Bart in Bart game. Why would you steal him in this? Thank you, Gareth and Plank. Stop asking about stealing Bart. Never ask that. Whenever you ask about that, I get extremely mad. I get really mad when you say that. So don't say that. Pretty sure that's gonna put a stop to it for good. What the fuck? I gotta go all the way back to the fucking TV and put this in? No, that's that's never happening. That's going in the trunk. Get me angry, guys. You won't like me when I'm angry. Tony Stark says... Oh, what the fuck? should have killed him while I had the chance. I don't know why, I just... I couldn't do it. He was your husband. I love you, Don. Honestly, we were more married to our work than each other. But what about Sherry? How could you just leave her all alone while Rackham City burned to hell? I couldn't let my daughter grow up in a world with the G-Virus in it. But that's not... Oh, watch out. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. Alright, she's still alive. I got 
Hand me that gun. Hand me that gun. I think I got a hundred acid rounds. Ah! No match for the 16 acid rounds. Fuck. Boom! What's this? Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm like stuck back here. How do I get past them? Don't kill. Don't kill. Okay. I think I already used my one hit up that I did. Oh, there's his eye! There's his eye! Shoot the eye! Fuck. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? Handgun ammo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Hey, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Yeah! Don't kill. Don't kill. Pick some. Go pick something up. Yes. Oh, I missed. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yes. Yeah. I win. Right? Did I win? Shoot him in that zone. I think I'm wasting this. I got my big ones. No! I'm still alive. I'm still alive somehow. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that. Oh, fuck. No, no, no. Ah! Shit, shit. Oh, fuck. Ooh, this is crazy. Oh fuck. Oh no. No! That's it? How do you dodge that? Damn. He's tough. I think I already have my best weapons out though. Thank you, Ludo King. All right, I'm thinking I'm going to need even more acid rounds. Oh, I could get the spark shot. That might get him. Let's break the spark shot out. There we go. P.P. McGee. Class A3. Yeah. Boom. Oh. That didn't do that much. Surprise. 
realized how much the handgun does. Oops. Go pick something up. Don't come by me. Don't you come by me. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now's my chance. Now, boom. Boom. Oh, that's big damage. That's big damage. You don't survive that. What's this? Flashbang? Oh! <laughs> shit! Shit, shit, shit! Shit, shit, shit! I need health! Are there any plants in here? Ah! Fuck! How do you dodge that? There's a health spray? That's how you Alright. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Where's the health spray? Where's the health spray? <laughs> Don't you throw that! Where's the health spray? Where's the health spray? Oh god, he's coming to kill. He's coming to kill. Yeah, shit! Health spray? Health spray? That's a flashbang. Wait, I have a grenade! Yeah! Yes! Oh, that barely stuns him at all. Hold still, hold still. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> this is insane. Got him! Burn. Oh fuck, I need the health spray. I need the health spray really bad. Alright, hopefully the health spray is... I don't... It's not one of these. It's not this. That's handgun ammo. Maybe the health spray... Okay, he's getting, he's getting distracted. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is a grenade. I'll throw the grenade at ah. Eat the grenade? Shit! What's he got? What's he what's he doing? This? Boom! I win! I win! I win! Right? Holy fucking shit. Has been neutralized. Ending quarantine. That's insane. Let's see if he's got any items. Service lift is now operational. That was insane. Somebody said there's a health item somewhere in this room. I'm not leaving until I found the health item. Hey, Dunka Wim, having a rough day. Could you play Resident Evil 2 on stream for me? For you, fool philosopher, just for you, I'll play Resident Evil 2 on stream. I only do this for you.
Good thinking. Good thinking, density. Could I have done this the whole time? Hey, wasn't I just there? Didn't I just check that table? Whatever. I got the first aid spray. Alright, I'm back in action. I walked past it, really? I didn't even see it. Now you don't get up. You are defeated. That was insane. Yep, take my shower. Gotta get back to Sherry. All right, I'm good. Is the game good? Is the game good? Is the game good? Come on now. You know this game is good. You guys have found a video a video player. you were coming. This is my life's work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. Hold your fire! What the fuck were you thinking? Our orders were to bring him in alive. How he transformed into Maestro. So they shot him, then he transformed into Maestro. And then as Maestro, he went and killed all the SWAT team and took his briefcase back. <laughs> so that big monster was walking around with a briefcase. Where's the briefcase that the monster hid? <laughs> Reload the electric gun? Bless you. The electric gun is out of juice. Oh wait, I got three more juice. What is this big? <laughs> I put like an iPad on the top of it. Did a guinea pig just sneeze? No, that was Leah. Monstro go big mode. That was a human. That was a human sneeze. Alright. I'm thinking those flashbangs were pretty good in the boss fight. I might want to keep those. I'm thinking just keep all these weapons. I think it's like a bunch of boss. I think there's another boss fight. I don't even think that was the final boss. Dodo hey. crisis. Yeah. I knew you'd make it. Her eyeball is fixed. My mom needs help. 
Annette? What happened to the mom? Sherry. Or how are you? Okay. But you don't look so good. Mommy? Hey, look at the screen. Oh, thank God. So Sherry's gonna be all right? She'll be weak for a little while, but... Yes. She's free of the G-Virus. Did you hear that? And she uh -huh. will become powerful. Uh -huh. Don't. Well, a zombie threw her at a wall. Don't worry about me. But like a zombie like bit me and chomped me and threw me and like I got like, Take my daughter. I got bitten Just... by like ten zombies and I'm alright. I'm sorry, Sherry. For everything. Your life is what is important. We can't just leave her here. You're right, we can't. Attention. I'm Don't on stream fast, stream. What does that mean? Thank you, it's a self destruct code. Self destruct? <laughs> In case the G virus leaves the building. What dumbass turned on the self destruct? Save my daughter. No! Sherry! Sherry, we're gonna say goodbye to your mom. Mom, please say goodbye. Please, Sherry. Listen. She loved you, okay? You really gotta get going. Come on, kid. Self-destruct. Self-destruct, then. You were right about this jacket. I'm so lucky to have you. So we can talk more about that later. We gotta hurry now. Come on. Did Leon turn on to self-destruct? <laughs> I feel like it was Leon that did it. Sherry, can you walk faster? Yeah. I don't want to rush you. We have to go. Don't leave the pizza behind. I gotta leave it. I gotta leave it. Access denied. What? Attention. But I got to. I got to level four. Let me out. Let me. Let me go. Do I go to the cable car? Cable car. Oh, I didn't combine it. That's true. Let's get the hell out of here. It's glitched. Combine the kid and the band. Yeah? Uh oh. Thank you for being so nice to me. For helping me. I'm really glad I met you. I'm really glad I met you too, Sherry. But save your thanks until I get you out of this place. Attention. Self destruct sequence initiated. Use the central elevator to evacuate immediately to the bottom of the 
This is like the shark room. This is where you do the, the shark controls. Oh, thank God. Thank God somebody put a typewriter here. Thank you, Shadow Trooper. Ten minutes until get to Ten minutes. This is gonna get crazy. This is gonna get crazy. Oh my god, they're actually giving me a health item? That's when you know you're fucked. Whoa, 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 whoa. Somebody in chat said they liked Balan Wonderworld. Stop the stream. Stop the stream. <laughs> Turning the stream off. It's a joke, right? You're joking, right? Can we, can, it's a joke? I really like, I really like the Balan Wonder World. This is it, right? Okay, no, no, this is Resident Evil. This is actually a different game. Okay, it was just, it was just a mess. It was just a mistake. He thought this was Balan Wonder World. It was a fake out. It was a fake out. Of course. Stupid thing's locked. Hold on. Sherry, what are you... I think I can open it from the other side. When somebody likes Balan Wonderworld, it activates the self-destruct mode of the, of the Earth. Damn it, your tummy sucks. Wait, wait, wait. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Son of a bitch. Yeah, reload, reload. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I'm stuck. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, this is getting crazy. This is getting crazy. Go, go, go. Sherry, you hanging in there? I'm right behind you. Had a girl. They this is crazy. Here. This is crazy. Eight minutes until detonation. Worth a try. The train. Get on the train. On the train, I'm getting on the train. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what do you do with this? on a train. Fuck, I'm gonna need the crank. Turns out I'm gonna need the whole crank. I did everything wrong. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is fucked up. It's making me leave two items. You know what, I got time. I got seven minutes. I 
I got plenty of time. Let's go over to the box. Uh, eh, I can lose one of the knives. Maybe, maybe I don't need 17. All right, that's good. Where did I find a minigun? On the floor? It's just on the floor. What are you doing? We gotta get this train moving. I need you to stay right here, okay? Okay. I promise I won't move. Good. Be careful. Always. the self-destruct you're down here too yeah but the whole place is coming down look you need to get out fast i know i found a way out i think i think we can all make it where are you now claire are you still there leon <laughs> i'm sorry you're breaking up don't worry about me just get out of here Leon! Leon! Bam. Damn! Alright, I'm getting on the train. Minigun. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. No, no, no. Ah, shit. Let me heal, let me heal, let me heal. Let me move. Bam. I got this, I got this. There he goes. What's he doing? I win. Why is it playing music like I lost? Oh, there he is. Bah, 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 bah. No, no, no. Ah, shit. Oh, I can go over here. Oh, fuck. Did I win? Did I win? I won. I, no, I didn't win. I'm winning. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I win. Alright, now he's dead. Right? He's definitely dead now. Claire! It's okay. I'm here. We're getting out of here.
working on the turbo. First thing you want to do when we get out of here. Zombie world. Want to see where you live. Good. Sai. Take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> really? Not bad. Oh yeah. Claire. Leon. <laughs> it's so good to see you. I told you we'd make it, didn't I? <sighs> you did. That's the ending. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was a that's one way to end it. I definitely like the ending from the first game more, where you shoot the guy with a rocket launcher and then it does like three Jackie Chan cuts of him blowing up. And then the whole fucking mansion blows up. B-side true ending? Oh, come on. At least give you some kind of good ending, without having to get a secret ending. <clears throat> that was a good game, though. Very good game. Doesn't have the good enemies like Resident Evil 1. But it was a lot more playable. Didn't have hungry and eat doggy food. I gotta put on the good music. One second. Where's the good credits music? Here we go. This is the good credits music. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. This is better.
Cô ba 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 Hey, it's up to us to take out Umbrella. Thank <laughs> you.